Hello all and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is AJ and today we're cleaning the stove top. If you have found this video, it is probably because someone in your household, either you or someone else who shall remain unnamed, uh, melted some plastic on your stove. And today I'm going to show you the easiest way to get that plastic off of your stove grate so that you can once again cook. Here is the before of the melted plastic. It was a plastic microwave cover that was on the burner that accidentally got turned on. <laughs> It's all over the coils and in the little tray underneath the coils as well. So the first step here is to remove the tray and then scrape off as much of the plastic as you can. Um, I started off first with my fingernail and that was not working super well, so I actually just grabbed a spoon. Uh, this one happened to be plastic, which is fine because it's not currently hot. <laughs> and then you're gonna, like I said, scrape as much of the plastic off as you can. This is gonna save you a lot of pain and a lot of time later on. Then you're gonna wash that tray with very, very hot water and soap, and it should come pretty clean like you see here. Once the tray is taken care of, we are gonna move on to the coil. Again, the process is pretty much the same. You're gonna start with getting off as much excess plastic as you can. Uh, I started again with just my hands if I got any loose pieces off that way, and then I transitioned to a spoon. Uh, as you can see, I started with using the plastic spoon again, but pretty quickly found that that was not super effective. Uh, so I actually switched over to a metal spoon. You don't have to be too worried about scratching the surface or anything. These things are designed to be very heavy duty. <laughs> so yeah, use the metal spoon if you need to, but try and scrape off as much as humanly possible in this step. Now it's time to start the fun part. So we are gonna put the stove back together, plug your little burner back into its spot. We're gonna practice safety first and turn on the vent fan. And then you're gonna turn the burner on to low. This is gonna allow the plastic that is on the stove to begin melting. We wanna keep that temperature very, very low because we don't wanna start smoking too early on in the process. Once the plastic has had a chance to melt, we're gonna take a wooden spoon and start scraping it off. We need to be really careful at this stage because the burner is obviously quite hot, so please, please be careful. Uh, you need to make sure you're using a wooden spoon at this point because we don't want to be using metal, that's gonna heat up, and obviously we don't wanna be using plastic because that's going to make our problem worse. So using your wooden spoon, just gently scrape around the rings of the burner and you're gonna put that plastic onto a paper towel or anything else that you have nearby. Again, making sure that you're being very careful because it is very, very hot at this stage. Once we have scraped off as much plastic as possible, we are gonna turn the burner all the way up to high and we're gonna allow the rest of that plastic to melt off. This is going to cause quite a bit of smoke, uh, so please make sure that you still have your vent hood on and that you have all other ventilation options open as well. Um, I had all of my windows open along with my front door and my bathroom fan on. Uh, if you do not have all of those items open and venting, you run the risk of setting off your fire alarm. which as I found out, you actually have the risk of doing anyway. But just to be safe, please make sure you have all of your ventilation open and functioning so that you do not inhale more fumes than necessary. And here you have it, the final product, a nice clean stove burner ready to work again. I really hope that this video was helpful for you and that you were able to clean the plastic off of your stove top. I'm very excited to have that burner back and I have purchased stove covers uh, from the Dollar Tree to hopefully prevent that from happening in the future, but I'll keep you posted. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video, and leave a comment down below what's the weirdest thing that you've melted onto your stovetop. <laughs> Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day, and thanks for watching. Bye!